Uh, hey everyone, uh, it's Cacti, and uh, I'm going to I'm gonna break down my track, one of my tracks called uh, I Love My Server. So it's that it's this track was made um, with my with some of the people on my Discord server. If you're not on my Discord server, you can uh, you can join that. I'll put a link in the description or in the comment section. Um, so yeah. So I'm just gonna break down this track. So like almost like the sounds, like the samples were requested by uh, my server, the people on my server. So first of all, the tempo's at 341. Uh, one of my, one of the people said to set it to 340, but then another person told me to add one more. So we have 341 beats per minute. So the metronome will sound like this. Uh, yeah. So we'll start with the, this uh, intro and the build up. So this part, the mouse moving sound. That's uh, that's that's me uh, moving my mouse. If you can hear that. Yeah. So someone told me to record me moving my mouse around, and I put a lot of convolver on it. Very white. And here we got Oxilium's theme song. So that this was this was um oh it was a uh, it was just a a saw wave, and the notes are playing uh the key of um the song's in G minor by the way, uh and uh, these are the notes that I use for Oxilium's theme. So yeah, no. Oh, by the way, nobody told me to do this. I just wanted to add this in for the track. So uh, yeah. Oh, and for the effects bit, I put a I put two reverbs and a tonkinizer. Just hit the A and just move this down here. Here we have this have uh, kick drum. It's reversed and stretched. And then this melody. We now for the melody. Uh, this is the weirdest melody ever made. It's uh, wait. oh, this is it. Okay, it's just a triangle wave of all three pitches. And uh, here's the notes for it. If you want to copy this for some, for some reason. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, it's on a different channel, so. Melodies right here. Oh, it's the same thing, never mind then. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and this pad. This pad. It's, yeah, it's a preset on from Citrus. And uh, I put, I cut, oh, okay, I cut the high end, then I just put this down here. And with some more, so, uh, another sound goodizer, this time it's a little bit more up. Okay, this the sound, the sound right here. As you can see here, it's from this sound mouse mouse clicks. Yeah, it's someone told me to record me clicking my mouse. So if we go over here and we take off the effects. Yeah, it's the sound of the mouse clicking. So I put a wave shaper set it all the way up here. Our uh, some reverb. Okay, I did this peak for the EQ, a sugdizer, and uh, oh, I bring effect on the effector and set the cursor all the way to the bottom left. All right, now for the drop. <laughs> This is me saying bass. Bass. Uh, I just pitched it down 400 cents. And the effects are... Bass. I put delay to make it sound robotic. Bass. And some reverb. Bass. Alright, now for the drop, the first drop. So this kick drum. It 
it's my desk. It's it's me recording my uh me smacking my desk. So if we go here, pick up the effects. So yeah, it's similar effects. Um, yeah, similar effects to the uh the, the snare mouse clicks, and uh, the bass. The bass is actually me talking. So if we play this right here. It doesn't sound like me talking, right? But if I take off the effects... It's kind of like vocal chops, right? So the effects I did was a sound set set to C and put it up here. Uh, uh, reverbs, turn off the decay and then put the wetness of it up. And EQ to take off the low ends and boost up. Uh, delay for a robotic effect, a ring effect to um, to make it sound better. Oh, and uh, vocoder, vocodex. Yeah, vocodex. Uh, wave shaper to obviously distort it, and compressor to compress the sound. And the left fil the left filter is used for build ups. So you can see the automation clip here of the uh, fruity love filter, and this arp. This is just a square wave, as you can see. So yeah. Oh, I did this sound here. This sound. Oh wait, wait, wait let's. Okay. <laughs> this sound. Uh, it's a sample from one of uh, Lockdrop's video where he smacks cheese. So I, I sampled where he hits the cheese on the desk. So. Same, similar effects is how I made the drums here, the desk and mouse drums. And then here we have Henry Stickman yelling. Oh shoot, I spelled his last name wrong. <laughs> so yeah, I, I pitched it up, all the way up, and that's pretty much all I did with it. And it helps really well with the drop. <laughs> You can barely hear it, but it's there. And also, this is just to automate the volume for this, so it's like side chaining. So yeah, side chain. Uh, make sure you side chain. Uh, what is this? Oh, just offbeat hi hats. Oh, and this part. Yeah, uh, this is the American Cup song. The sample from the American Cup song. And, uh, this. So, I sent- someone told me to use Dance Mr. Funny Bones, so I did that. Nothing much, I just stretched it out and pitched it up. And then, someone told me to use, uh, Zelte's voice from Hollow Knight. I never played Hollow Knight, so I don't know this. But someone told me to use it, so I- I sampled it. And altogether, it sounds really good. Uh, yeah. Alright, so now for this- so, now for this little breakdown. A real villain. We got the vocals, the vocals only of, uh, We Are Number One. A real villain. Well, uh, I... Oops. A villain. Well, uh, so all I did was put reverb on it. Just... Alright, this. That is actually the notes from uh, Megalovania. I just picked, uh, so this song was, um, this, the fix that was, um, made from this, as you can see, it says Megalovania, but it's only the first note. I accidentally, uh, did something wrong, but, so it sounds really pitched down. So I tried to pitch it all the way up, but it didn't work. So, that's an F moment. And I put some sound goodizer too, because it also counts as a bass, uh, for this, uh, drum step drop. And then also the kitchen gun sample. And it sparkles like new! And it sparkles like new! So yeah, there's um... And now the, the notes are 
by doing a drop pattern. And it's also following the sub bass. And then there's this growl here. That, I make that bass, uh, that's pretty much uh, how I make my basses. Uh, if we go over here, there, this is how, um, how I first start to make a bass. Uh, you set all of the waves to saw. D2 them either up or down, doesn't matter. Uh, set the pitches on different sides. Sometimes you, I like to change the pitch from down to up, depending on what they are. And for the effects, put a reverb, turn off the decay, and then put up the wetness. Uh, sound Godizer set to C. Uh, cut the low ends and boost, boost up. Uh, delay on the effector for uh, robotic sound. Uh, ring effect. Wave shaper to distort it and oh yeah, fruity flanger and uh, set, and I set the um, preset to fast flanger. And then limiter to compress it. Okay, and then just this uh, little uh, sc uh, long screech bass. Uh, let me just mute this real quick. Uh. So I made this one. It's uh, it's the same way I, how I made it. But this time, it's pitching down. I automated the pitch so it goes down every time the drums hit. And then this is just a preset from Symantec Trap City. But it's side chaining too. And it's pretty much the same thing. And then here. The new. So we got the American Cup song. And then the Dairy Queen, um, the Dairy Queen, uh, sample of the lips saying the new. The new. And then for here, it goes to a little breaks, and then over here, the new, the new, the new, the new. I chopped the the new, the new, the so it goes well with the beat. The new, 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 the new. And then this is build up. So someone told me to record me announcing that there's a uh, containment breach, obviously a reference to the SCP Foundation. Warning. This site is experiencing multiple Keter and Euclid level containment breaches. Yeah, I pitched down uh, 600 cents and yeah, looking at here, Warning. I put some reverb on it, a little bit of reverb as you can see, and uh, delay to make it sound robotic. Uh, if you want things to sound robotic like a voice or a bass, just put a effector, set delay, delay, and put the cursor somewhere around here, and then like adjust the tempo. So it sounds fast that it's like delaying so fast that it sounds robotic and stuff. And now for this final, uh, this final drop, this final drop right here, it's basically just kind of the same as the first one. So wait. We got we got a a side a side trance bass. So it's going to the beat, and we got my voice again. Wait. Oh yeah, and the megalovania voice. Uh, no. So we take out the effects on my voice. It was all like this. So, yeah. Oh yeah, if you don't know what the voice is saying, it's just me saying the names of some of the people who helped me make this track. <laughs> yeah, they told me to do that. Um, I think that's pretty much all the the different stuff in this uh, in this last drop. Oh yeah, and there's the symbols. These these are uh, open hats. For a second. Also, notice that the drops are not in uh, 16 bars; they're actually in 32. 32 bars. So, um, 
Yeah. Because if I made them 16 bars, the, the drops will just sound too short. So I had to extend that by 2. Hour or 4. And then the last 2 bars of the drop. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Splitter, co splitter core beats. I, I basically just spammed the kick and uh... The kick and the megalovania notes but makes a split record beat and and uh and then the auxilium theme song started playing oh, american cup song again and then there's the final part of the drop so this time we got the kitchen gun and auxilium steam playing in the background and then for the ending it sparkles like new. So this is again the new but I distorted. New. It was distorted a lot, as you can see. I put two wave shaper wave shapers to um automate for this ending, and then I also automate the delay at the end. So it can be an actual ending. New. Yeah, that's pretty much everything to my track um uh, I love this server. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll probably, I'll do, I'll do more, uh, breaking down, uh, videos with some more, more tracks in the future. But, uh, yeah. So, that's, uh, oh yeah, join my Discord server if you want. Yeah. Uh, my Discord server has some, has, uh, also have stems of some of my, the tracks I'll be making. So, in case you want to remix them or use them there. So, yeah. So that's it for now. See ya guys.